Good day everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms Absolute Layout in CodeBehind. 2. Recognize the difference between creating absolute layout in XAML versus in CodeBehind. Now, let's open our Visual Studio and do some coding. In this demonstration, we will recreate this design. This UI was designed using XAML. And for this video lesson, we will create it at code behind. This is the project we've created using XAML. So let's comment out this first and go to code behind. Now let's add the elements. Create a new instance of box view and name it Graybox. Then set the color to gray. To set the layout bounds and layout flags of the object, we need to call the absolute layout class and access its the layout bounds method. This method has two arguments. First is the bindable object. And this box view, label, and other control are bindable objects. That's why we can pass this object to set layout bounds property. Second is the rectangle type. Now let's pass the box view element. The first and second values in the rectangle are the position of the object. And the third and fourth values are the width and height of the object. Then let's now set the layout flags. This method has two arguments. First is the bindable object. Then the layout flags we want to add. We want these value from the rectangle to be proportional. So we set it to all. Then let's add the second box view with a background color of maroon. And set the layout bounds. Then pass the box view we created and create new instance of rectangle. We want the first and second value of the rectangle to be proportional, so we set this to position proportional. Last element is the button. Then set its text property to two layout flags. Now set its layout bounds. For the layout flags of this button, we want these three values to be proportional. And this one is absolute. To do this, we need to set the layout flags with two layout flags. The position proportional and width proportional, delimited by a bitwise or operator.
Then do not forget to create the new instance of absolute layout element. Then assign it to content. Then add its children element. And these are Graybox, Maroon Books, and the BTN. Now let's run the app. There you have it. That's how we create the absolute layout in code behind. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.